It's certainly less dangerous to send a rover to the surface than to send an astronaut. Uh, it's also cheaper. Um, it's also uh, possible to not take up so much of their time. You know, astronaut time is extremely valuable, so you can send a rover to the surface, you can let the ground team do all their planning, uh, let the, them do all the longer traverses, and you get the astronaut involved when it's necessary for maybe the more complex task or the things where he really uh, direct teleoperation, direct control of the robot is more helpful. Imagine you have a normal joystick and you control an arm, it follows the movement, but with haptic feedback you indeed would feel what a robot feels. So if you move our haptic device and the robot touches an obstacle, you indeed feel, feel the touch and this allows the operator to do more fine-grained tasks that is not possible without haptic feedback. This is one of the first times we put out a robot in, in a really harsh environment here on Mount Etna. So it's moon-like, we have a complex scenario with the operation center in the background, the astronaut with time delay in the control center, and indeed a task that has been prepared by the team in Darmstadt that was not known to the scientists and to the astronaut beforehand. So here we really try to get as close as possible to real scenarios with surprises in a hard environment. And if we master this, we are really confident that these technologies can be yeah, developed further to make it space great to indeed be part of the next moon mission.